Electric Vehicle Day was a way to bring a lot of these owners of these electric vehicles, the community, together. Find a way to educate folks who might be interested in learning more about transportation. We've had a great turnout today. We've had folks from all across the region. We see vehicles downstairs. We have about a dozen down here. We have a little solar generator charging station over there. We have vehicle upstairs, new vehicles, old vehicles. It's really meant, a, meant to be a place that brings together the owners, the community, people that are interested, people that have just really just curious and thought about it for a long time. And to be able to learn, to be able to, to view, sit down, and just really see tangibly what these vehicles are about. Education just means trained, all right? Awareness means knowledge. So, I mean, you can be educated as, as much as you want to and still not have any sense about these electric vehicles. My name is Darrell White. I have this red Tesla right here. We're here today to try to promote electric vehicles. That's the car of the future that we need to get off of gasoline powered vehicles because electrics are so much better than for the environment. It doesn't burn gasoline and it is an awesome car to drive. The pep, the torque is fantastic. If you're going to go across country, you know where all the superchargers are, so you know where the next one is and you know how far it is. Charge it up to about 220 miles on a daily basis. We bought it in uh, 2013. We got uh, around 12,000 back from Louisiana and 7,500 back from the federal. Uh, the Tesla is one company that's even coming out with a mid-market vehicle. You see a lot of other folks that are making electric vehicles more accessible to everyone. So when you think of gas pump and electric vehicles, think of one of these. This is something that you actually, one day, you'll, most of your kids will actually think of this as being where they fuel up in the morning. Today's event gives everybody a chance to not just look at the vehicles, but hop inside and talk to some of the owners. You know, we need to voice our opinion and get this out to more and more people. Uh, the, the thing that still amazes me every day about this car is the number of people that I run into that have never heard of this Tesla. From an environmental standpoint, we need, we need as many electric vehicles on the road as possible and as fast as possible. We need to get off of gasoline, hopefully with an EV group, maybe we can have a voice in the legislature to pick that up again. A louder voice we could have to maybe get some better incentives for electric cars. Uh, my name's David and this is my um, Tesla Model S. It's a beautiful car, it's very practical, it's got a lot of space in the back. And then this is my second one because I wanted the self-driving technology. It's got a camera in the front that's built into the windshield behind the rearview mirror and the software uh, is linked to the steering which is electric and it steers the car to keep it in the middle of the lane. Well, it's really fast, it's very fun to drive, acceleration is incredible. Um, the lines are gorgeous. Um, the software, Tesla updates the software periodically so it's kind of like having a phone. It's constantly being improved. The car will really do a great job just driving itself. Now, there are not a lot of these cars around Louisiana right now. I think there are probably between 75 and 100 in the whole state, about 25 or 30 in the New Orleans area. I think there need to be more options, more affordable options for electric vehicles. And there also have to, has to be a better charging infrastructure for, for these cars. Right now, there are very few places where you can charge the cars. Uh, when you're out and about. I mean, Whole Foods is nice, they've got chargers, but there are not a lot of places in town for that. There are not a lot of places downtown for out-of-town visitors to charge. It's a, this is an environmental issue. It's a solution for a big problem that the world's facing. At our roundtable of electric vehicle owners today, one of the most interesting things to come out of it was a bit of a conversation on where we should put charging stations or where the community of owners would most value seeing charging stations. And, you know, everywhere from malls to gas stations to places like Whole Foods that actually offer electric vehicle charging, uh, those are wonderful to, to actually be able to say, I can go into my community and I can find a place that we can charge up. And it actually benefits the businesses too by drawing in attention to them for stepping up. Plug in, there's no charge for that. And they've got similar chargers at the airport, and if you plug in there, there's no charge for that either. No charge for the no charge. No charge for charge, I like that. <laughs> I love not having to buy gas, and I love that it's very quiet, and that I know I'm not polluting when I'm, I'm driving. I mean, for me, I live three miles from where I work, I live like five miles from so it's where I practice media. yoga, and you know, maybe five miles from City Park. All the places I like to go are pretty close to home, so. Well, exactly. I mean, it's a plenty enough basically. range for me. I would totally recommend it.